39 Glenafimal Terrier Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. With strength and independence as their hallmarks, the Glenafimal Terrier, affectionately called Glens, is a medium-sized breed. They usually stand between 12.5 to 14 inches tall and weigh approximately 32 to 40 pounds. Number 2. These small teddy bear-like dogs are famous for their irresistibly cute looks, which include cheerful brown eyes, button-shaped noses, and perpetual smiles. Yet, what truly sets this breed apart is their distinctive coat. Number 3. These dogs sport a tough and scruffy double coat, which primarily comes in two shades, wheaten or blue with brindles. Within these shades, their fur color can range from creamy to reddish and from silvery to slate-colored. Number 4. The breed is also known for their adorable short legs and slightly turned-out paws. They belong to the achondroplastic dwarf breed category, earning them the nickname Big Dogs on Short Legs due to their fiery personalities and compact stature. Number 5. Glens also feature small triangular-shaped ears that typically hang loosely when they are at ease. However, these droopy ears perk up halfway when the dog is alert or listening attentively. Number 6. In the past, the breed's tail was often shortened to aid in extracting them from badger holes. While tail docking is still practiced in the United States, some breeders have opted not to do it. In AKC confirmation shows, having an intact tail is not an issue. Nevertheless, many countries have completely banned tail docking for show purposes. Number 7. These terriers have a slow maturation process compared to many other dog breeds. It can take them anywhere from 1 to 3 years to reach sexual maturity, and they typically reach full maturity between 1 and 4 years, making the transition into adulthood. Number 8. Glens, like many terriers, have a natural inclination for digging and hunting in the ground because of their history as past hunters. Training them to stop digging is quite challenging, so it's a good idea to create a designated area for digging if you want to avoid having holes scattered throughout your yard. Number 9. Glens belong to the less demanding and more even-tempered category within their terrier group. They are known for their easy-going nature and tend to be less vocal compared to the majority of other terriers. Number 10. While these dogs won't erupt into a noisy frenzy over every slight sound or movement like many other terriers, they will bark to signal boredom or excitement. They're also excellent watchdogs, alerting you to anyone approaching, which makes them great at guarding. Number 11. Similar to other terriers, Glens possess a robust prey drive due to their hunting background. They may instinctively chase after smaller animals they perceive as prey, so it's vital to keep them on a leash outdoors to avoid any potential accidents. Number 12. These little guys are also quite the escape artists, and they'll make a run for it when they're chasing after prey. They might pull off tricks like digging and jumping to break free from the yard, so it's a good idea to make sure your yard is securely fenced to avoid any unexpected adventures. Number 13. Glens generally have good compatibility with other dogs, unlike some terrier breeds. Yet some Glens may display aggression towards other household pets, particularly same-sex dogs. They're also not a good match for cats and smaller animals due to their strong prey drive. Number 14. As a strong-willed and independent dog, the Glenafimal is known to take on challenges at face value. These dogs will oftentimes take up fights with other dogs much larger than their size, which is why it's important to supervise these dogs in the vicinity of other dogs. Number 15. These terriers, while highly intelligent, can exhibit strong stubbornness and independence. It's not uncommon to observe a Glen ignoring your commands, only choosing to comply when they decide it suits them. Number 16. While these terriers have a fondness for water, their physical characteristics, including short legs and a heavy body, can pose challenges when it comes to swimming. Their buoyancy and swimming ability may not match their enthusiasm for water, making it crucial to be cautious around swimming pools to ensure their safety. Number 17. Every Glen owner is likely familiar with the Glen sit. This is a unique sitting position for Glen of Amal Terriers in which they sit on their hind ends and hold their entire body upright, a posture that's not commonly observed in other breeds. Number 18. Glenafimal Terriers are generally robust and enjoy good health, typically having a lifespan ranging from 10 to 15 years on average. With attentive care and affection, many of them can even exceed their expected lifespan. Number 19. Like all dog breeds, Glens can be susceptible to specific health problems. Some of the health conditions to be aware of in this breed include hip and elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, von Willebrand's disease, thrombopathia, allergies, cataracts, and progressive retinal atrophy. Number 20. Young Glens, given their front-heavy build and achondroplastic traits, have a higher risk of growth plate injuries in their front leg bones. To help prevent such injuries, it's best for Glens to abstain from jumping off furniture like sofas, chairs, and beds until they reach one year of age. Number 21. Glen pups may also face the risk of premature closure to the distal ulna, which can lead to abnormal growth of their front legs. This condition can result in the shortening of the ulna, leading to bowing of the radius and carpal valgus, which can also cause elbow joint incongruity. 
Number 22. Another potential concern to look out for is Cushing's disease, often triggered by a small brain tumor that leads to an overproduction of steroid hormones. Common signs of this condition include increased appetite, sluggishness, hair loss, thinning of the skin, and excessive drinking and urination. Number 23. These dogs are also recognized for their remarkable tolerance for pain and stoic disposition. This can result in them not displaying obvious signs of distress when they're injured, making it challenging to discern their discomfort until it reaches a critical point. Number 24. These dogs love physical activity and have a natural aptitude for earth dog activities. With proper training, they can also perform well in agility, obedience, and rally. They'll need plenty of training though. Number 25. The Glenofimal Terrier's exact origin remains uncertain, but it is believed that these terriers originated in the mountainous and secluded county Wicklow of Ireland. Farmers in this area employed them for hunting badgers, foxes, and pests. Number 26. At one point in time, these dogs were unfortunately used for fighting and entertainment. People would place them in pits with badgers and time them on how quickly they could capture the prey. This so-called sport was eventually banned in 1966. Number 27. The Glen of Amal is one of four native Irish Terrier breeds. While it's sometimes referred to as the Irish Glen of Amal Terrier or the Wicklow Terrier, enthusiasts often simply call it the Glen. Number 28. DNA analysis has revealed that the Glen of Amal Terrier shares a closer genetic relationship with Mastiff-type dogs rather than with other terriers. Researchers have observed that in the case of the Glen of Amal Terrier, genetic assignments do not align with their physical and functional characteristics. Number 29. Enthusiasts of the Glen believe that the breed descended from dogs brought by settlers. These settlers, rewarded with land in the valley for their service in Queen Elizabeth I's army, interbred their dogs with local canines, giving rise to the Glen of Amal Terrier we know today. Number 30. Throughout their history, Glen of Amal Terriers played various roles, including that of harding dogs. In Irish folklore, there are suggestions that they may have been employed to turn meat over open fires in kitchens, although there is limited concrete evidence to substantiate this claim. Number 31. One, it is believed these dogs received their moniker Turnspit Dog because they were employed to operate a hamster wheel-like contraption which rotated meat over a cooking fire. Their strong front legs made them well suited for this unique task. Number 32. The breed neared extinction but was revived in the early 20th century by breeders like Paddy Brennan from Tina Haley County Wicklow and Willie Kane from Tipperary and its homeland. Today, the Glen of Amal Terrier still remains one of the rarest dog breeds. Number 33. There are occasional reports of Glens emigrating to America with their owners as early as 1930. However, the breed did not firmly establish itself in America until the 1980s, when a group of committed breeders and enthusiasts imported foundational stock from both Ireland and the United Kingdom. Number 34. The Glen of Amal Terrier was acknowledged by the Irish Kennel Club in 1934. However, it took about 40 years until 1975 for the United Kennel Club to fully recognize the breed. The Canadian Kennel Club also fully recognized Glens in 2017, following years of listing the breed on the miscellaneous list. Number 35. Back in 1986, a group of passionate Glen of Amal Terrier enthusiasts came together to form the Glen of Amal Terrier Club. However, it took nearly two decades for the American Kennel Club to catch up with the charm and character of this breed, finally recognizing it in 2004. Number 36. Despite their official recognition, Glen of Amals are not widely known among dog enthusiasts. They are the least familiar terrier breed in Ireland and one of the rarest dog breeds in the United States. In fact, the UK's Kennel Club categorizes them as a vulnerable native breed Breed, a classification reserved for breeds with fewer than 300 puppy registrations each year. Number 37. The Glen of Amal Terrier is highly respected in certain dog breeding circles, but it's not very common among the general pet owners in the United States. In the early 21st century, the whole country had only about 600 to 700 registered Glen of Amal dogs, but despite their rarity, some of these dogs have performed exceptionally well in local American dog shows and competitions. Number 38. Glens rank on the lower end of the popularity spectrum in America. Despite this, the breed is called cultivated a devoted fan base. In the AKC's list of the most popular dogs in America for 2022, Glens are positioned at 169 out of a total 199 breeds. Number 39. As a rare breed, Glen of Amal Terriers can be quite expensive. Typically, their prices range from $1,500 to $2,500, although they may vary depending on the location. Exceptional breed lines, on the other hand, can command prices much higher than $3,000. Alright guys, now which of these Glen facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.